you've broken a fin off your rocket and you want to glue it back on so you can refly the rocket and you want to make it permanent. So what are you going to do? That's what we're talking about in this video. Where we left off last time was that we had epoxied the fin in place in the slot and now the fin is rock hard. Um, this thing is never going to come out again. Um, I'm really liking it. Um, so our next step is to cover this opening that we've made. Now this is purely cosmetic because right now the rocket is structurally sound but aerodynamically it lacks a little bit. It's going to be draggy because of that gap in there. Uh, this is the tricky part, is how do you fill that gap? Now, what I've gone ahead and done on this side is I, I'll show you what I'm going to do here. Um, I want to create a little shelf that goes around the outside edge of the slot we made so that when we take our uh, cutout that we had done earlier, we can just drop it in there like that and then just glue it in place and you can see now it's aerodynamically perfect again um, other than the little seam that we're going to have there. So making that little shelf is the hard part. Um, we're going to need a piece of cardboard and I cut one from a body tube. So you see here I just took a body tube and just took a slice out of it. Now it doesn't have to be a body tube. It can just be any piece of cardboard um, and you want to cut it to length and see right now I'm a little bit too long here so I'm going to cut it down I think cut off about that much and I want to stick it and glue it underneath of this lip and this is the hard part is how do you hold it under there when when it wants to do that, it wants to just fall in there. Um, the trick is you're going to need a special tool, um, something with an L on it, like this right here. I just took a piece of music wire and bent an L, and the length of the L is kind of important. It needs to be pretty much the width of the piece of cardboard that you're going to glue in there. Um, you're going to need maybe two of these, um, so I made two. Um, and I also found this little dental tool that has an L on the end of it, um, and it just has a nice thicker handle, so I'm going to use that. But if you don't have that, you can just use some use stiff music wire bent in an L shape. Um, when you made that cut right in there, um, it usually leaves a burr on the inside. Just kind of, when you plunge the knife in, it pushes the cardboard down. And so it's got like a little raised area in there. And I want to sand that off. So I got some sandpaper. And I want to get inside of there like that. And sand that off so it's nice and smooth. Take out any of the dirt that might be in there too. Okay. And then we're going to glue this in there. Now you can use super glue or you can use regular wood glue. On this side, I had used the regular wood glue. Uh, I'm going to try super glue because it's. Um, I want to save myself a little bit of time here. Um, and it's going to have to be the, uh, since this, this is kind of curved, I'm going to glue it in like that. Uh, what I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to glue one of these to the bottom side. I'm just going to tack it on and I'm going to snap it off later so it's, it's, it's going to be okay. So I just put some super glue on there. Glue it in there like that. And I got some accelerator here. I'll just accelerate that so that it stays on there like that. And that's going to give me a little handle so I can get in there like that. Okay, hold it on there pretty good. Um, I can do. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do two at once. So I'm gonna get on there like that, and then just use the little, the L shape to pull it tight up against there. So 
so that I get a nice tight fit. So I'm going to take some super glue and I'm going to put a bead along the edge there like that. Get the plate doctor here operating on a patient from the inside. Take a little while for the glue to grab. If you're impatient, get out the accelerator. That's usually me. Spritzer's not spritzing very well anymore. Just want to spread it around, try to get it in there. There it goes. Now it's starting to grab. I got some thin super glue around here somewhere. Better grab that. This is thin. Make sure that I can. It's coming out. Good. Now this little piece right here, I'll just snap it off. Don't need that. Um, now I'd like to put a little shelf under this side. Um, I can't do it on the back side because I got the bulkhead right there, and so there's nothing to grab underneath. But on the front side, I got a little bit of room, and I'm going to use this other little piece here. I'm going to stick it under there. I'm going to do the same thing I did before. Is I'm going to glue. I'm going to glue it to my tool. Get underneath and glue it in. And it's too long, so I got to cut some off. Probably too wide, too. Okay. So that's much better. It's going to be there like that. So. Now I'm going to take some of the regular accelerator and I'm going to put it on like a little spoon or something and rub it underneath there like that. And that's going to, so when it Push it down, it'll grab a little quicker. Hopefully you can see it. My head's not in the way.
sprayer's not spraying. So um, this is the accelerator. I just put it into a little container. And when you get a little container like this, get the kind that has the base that spreads out so that when you knock it around, you don't tip it over like I just almost did there. And then you can um, either take a piece of music wire, just put a drop on there, and it gives you a little bit more control on where it goes. And you don't use as much. This stuff is not cheap, so. So it's on there good, and then just wiggle that back and forth to release that, and it's done. And then here's our cardboard that we had cut out earlier. And let's see if it's going to fit. Oh man, it fits like a glove, like it was meant to be there. <laughs> so it's just a matter of gluing it on now. some glue on that little shelf, put it on that edge there, this is the edge, it's going to go against the fin, voila. side. Same thing. Oops. That piece wants to come loose. It's really well too. And now it's just a matter of cleaning it up. Um, I got epoxy here. Um, I can go ahead and extend that fillet. It's mostly for cosmetic purposes. Um, this piece is not going to be very strong because you know it has that perimeter. You can you can work some epoxy into the seam if you want to smooth it out a little bit more. Uh, repaint it. It's up to you. Like I said before, this is going to be kind of a Frankenstein rocket because it's got a seam on it like there but I like it this rockets flyable again it's rock hard um, I'll put the nose cone on it and that's it so that's how you repair a fin through the wall fin that has popped out and you want to make it permanent my name is Tim Van Milligan I appreciate you coming here to our website if you're looking on YouTube um, down here on the bottom of the page you can meet, leave a comment or a suggestion Maybe you want to say, hey, you got to get a different host for these videos. <laughs> Tim is kind of hard to watch. Uh, I don't mind. Uh, eventually, one day, I'm going to have to do that, but not there quite yet. Um, you can also leave your questions. And over here to the side, we have other videos that I think you're going to enjoy. Thanks for coming.